Hello again, everybody. And this is actually a video about um, a schematic um, for Ford, a Continental, Crown Victoria. And this is from actually from the monitor. So I'm not going to be drawing any lines on it. It's just going to be pure schematics for those of you who need information. Um, hopefully, this one is for the first one is for, as you see, automatic, automatic uh, air conditioning system. So as you can see over here, automatic temperature control over here. And hopefully you could get a, a, a idea of it, how it works. Next one is the manual one. Again. Hard to photograph everything exactly. Next one is anti lock system. Again, this is not the easiest thing to do it this way. But that's what viewers ask for, so that's what I'm gonna photograph. If I do the whole thing, it'll be hard to see it. Next is the auto theft system. This is easy to photograph, it's small. Next. Again, this is what goes to <clears throat> excuse me, this is what goes to the data link connector. When you put your scan tool, <clears throat> this is B plus, this is ground, these two are ground, and this is the data. Positive and negative coming from these modules. And also you have one DLC line coming from these modules. So whenever you put your scan tool, these are the pins that the data is coming out from. Okay. If you have a problem with your data link, check the 12 volts. Next is the cooling fan. Self-explanatory. Cruise control, which will really not used a lot. Defoggers circuit. Now, this is for the power steering. Electronic power steering. So, basically, these are the inputs from the sensor. See this? These are the inputs. This is the output. <clears throat> Remember, we talked about input commands and output commands. Well, you have it right here. This is the actuator for power steering, the output, and these two are the inputs. Remember, the B-plus lines always goes to a module. Next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Also, electronic power steering also. Next. These diagrams are a little hard to photograph because they're too wide. See that part? Okay. That was the suspension. This is for the engine performance. As you can see here, this is the PCM, <clears throat> the power for the PCM. And sure enough, this is the PCM. All of this, the, chip, the module. <clears throat> Ignition coils over here, eight of them, eight cylinder. Being commanded by the chip to be turned on and off. This is again, engine control. Whenever you, en engine performance, whenever you see engine performance, you know there's a PCM involved. This is two. <laughs> 
instrument cluster. Tell you the information, the driver, the information. Again, another engine performance. Oxygen sensors, when you see oxygen sensors, you know there's a PCM somewhere in the diagram. When there are sensors, these sensors, either the fuel temperature or the temperature of the engine or the temperature of the coolant temp or the output uh, um, uh, speed of the transmission, you know there's a PCM somewhere in the picture. Next, <clears throat> again this. These are the fuel injectors coming from, again, PCM, giving them the commands on and off. So, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but this is for a uh, natural gas car. I don't think there's a necessary to do that, so I'll just go jump to the next one. This is the lamp circuits that we spoke about. For emergency lamps, for interceptor, I don't think there's too much interest in that. These are the backup lights. These small ones are great to photograph. I can get everything, but the other ones are difficult. These exterior lights, very difficult on diagram. Here are the parking lamps, all the lamps over here, as you can see over here. Again, if there's a better way to do this, I'll try a better way. Again, these are the grounds. I'm not gonna, I don't think it's necessary to do all the grounds. There's quite a few of them. I don't think it's necessary. Again, the headlamps, obviously. We spoke about the control module. Right here's the control module. The switch, actually, I'm sorry. Daytime running module over here on this side is the lighting control module very popular for going bad next again the headlamps yeah again and if I shrink the to do this, you'll, you'll only have this. I think it's a little too small for the viewer to see. Maybe not. Next. Body control module, or as we call it for Ford, lighting control module. Next. A horn circuit. Next. Instrument cluster. Also, instrument cluster. Lamp circuits. So you see there's quite a few circuits. This is how the power is distributed. This is how the power is distributed again. Power distributed. Quite a few. Door locks. Motors. Keyless entry circuit. Oh, these are power mirrors. I don't think too much interest in that. Uh, lumbar power seats. I don't think too much interest in that. Adjustable pedal circuit. I don't think too much interest in that. Driver power seats. Power windows. Radio circuit. And that's about it. Anyway, hopefully I'll, when I photograph it next time, another uh, schematic, 
it'll be easier to photograph than my first time doing it. But as you can see, these are the pages involved with it and see if you can figure out the schematics and the symbols from it, from the printing. If not, I'll try something different another time. But anyway, good luck. And just wanted to mention about the clamp meter. Just because there are videos out there about the best clamp meters doesn't mean that it's necessarily appropriate for automotive. Like I said before, those have very large jaws and the meter itself is very large. You have to get into very cramped locations when it comes to automotive. And that's why I use a small one. It fits, as you saw in, when I chain, when I uh, measured the alternator current. So don't be, um, I guess, the, uh, um, uh, attracted to when they say the best meters. Remember, those might be for electrical, where wires are easy to get to. Wires are not easy to get to in automotive, not at all. So you need a small one. Anyway, thanks for watching. And next time, hopefully... I'll work on it. I'll get better photography for these schematics. Meanwhile, try it. Try and see if it works.